cheese. So today, I am going to be trying Chuck E. Cheese pizza. T, T. <laughs> so the world knows, but just in case you are that one person in the world that doesn't know, Shane Dawson released this conspiracy theory series thing, my Bob, that was so good. And he broke down a bunch of conspiracy theories. And one of those was Chuck E. Cheese pizza and had me shook, as well as a lot of people on the internet. Basically in a nutshell, Chuck E. Cheese pizza, the conspiracy is, not my opinions, the conspiracy is that when people get a pizza and if they leave a few pieces, they recycle those pieces and put them all back together into a big pizza, repurpose it, I don't know, I'm not a chef, and then reserve it to the next customer. This is the conspiracy, and it's like, it has me gagging. Because the pieces don't line up, the marks where they cut the pizza don't line up, like it doesn't make sense from what I've seen from Shane's video, and the pepperonis are like all over the place, so I wanted to see it for myself because I live in Canada, and sometimes things in different countries can be different, so I was like, you know what? Let's go. And also, I've never ever been to a Chuck E. Cheese before because we do not have one in our city. So literally road tripping this. <laughs> Driving two hours there, two and a half hours actually, getting to pizza, two and a half hours back. So it's gonna be like a full day. I also have a giveaway going on right now. I got this Jeffree Star Morphe brush set for myself and I bought one for you guys. So it's still brand new in the packaging, but this is what it looks like. So you get face brushes, eye brushes, the Morphe Jeffree Star case. So if you guys want to win this, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram and comment on this picture. That's all you have to do is follow me and comment. Morphe didn't send this to me. Jeffrey doesn't know who the hell I am. I just did this because I love you guys and I like to give you guys free stuff because I like free stuff too. So go enter, comment anything, follow my Instagram and just subscribe to this channel too. Okay, let's go to Chuck E. Cheese, girl. I haven't worn these yet. Today is the day and yes, they're kids shoes. Okay, we're getting gas right now, then we're leaving. Two hours and 32 minutes. Let's go. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. So we don't know if we're allowed in Chuck E. Cheese without children, so we brought children. <laughs> I got her the most expensive water I could find because she's bougie. Are we there yet? How about now? Are we there now? Are we there yet? What about yet? How about now? I'm hungry. I have to pee. I have to pee. Why do you have this in your vehicle? Is this for you to pee in when you're alone? You're sick. There's a really, really big YouTuber and his name's Shane Dawson. <laughs> Shane Dawson was like, I think that when somebody orders like a pepperoni pizza, like they leave like four slices, they take those four slices and put them in the back and make and put those. I want to see if we get a pizza that's a <laughs> circle if and ours, cut nicely yeah. or if it is like... <laughs> Take a look at that. That's a Chuck E. Cheese pizza? Yeah. yeah so when you have a pepperoni sense. there, when you cut it in half, half will go on one slice and half will go on the other slice. Um, we should ask, ask them how they make their pizza. That was in the U.S. We're going to go see if it's the oh, same in Canada. Right? Because it could be different. But if it's like that, I kind of don't really want to eat it. No, me neither. <laughs> We're investigators. Right yeah. Now. spot because the sun keeps coming through here right into my face. What was that? What? Huh? I'm not a part of this. <laughs> I told you guys she's a psycho driver. My Get road. back in the lane. My road. You don't own Get the road. Get off my road. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my road. Get off of our road. We're going down a big hill into the valley. Don't even press the gas pedal or the brake. Just hammer on the gas, full send. We're almost there. I'm hungry. Good, because we're going to get food. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> All right, we will be there in 12 minutes. There's Chuck E. Cheese. There it is. <laughs> he even looks creepy. Look at him giving us thumbs up. Yes, our pizza's fresh. Oh, oh. My God. <laughs> oh. I was like, we just drove oh. all the way here. It literally looks like a casino for little kids. I'm gonna watch 
I'm in the kitchen. The kitchen is like right here. You should just go walk by. I'm gonna go. Oh. We have a new theory. We think that some of the employees are robots. Robots. I love how you get these tiny, tiny little drinks. Everyone in here is a robot. I'm scared. We ordered a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> they just are like. <laughs> Stare into your soul. Hi. Oh, thank you. I think that's it. Thank you. Okay, so this is our pizza. It actually looks pretty good. These pepperonis were cut. These pepperonis were actually cut. Okay, so getting this pizza, it looks very different from the pictures on Google of Chuck E. Cheese pizza and the pizza that Shane got. You can see that it is circular and the lines do match up as if it was cut from scratch. So also all the pepperonis that are placed, where they are cut, you can find the exact match to that pepperoni on the next slice over. They're not just like placed all over and random and don't match up. They look pretty good and the pizza itself does look pretty good. It doesn't look like cheese in between the slices and baked to create a new pizza. This looks legit. So I don't know if maybe Chuck E. Cheese changed their pizza after Shane's video or if in Canada they are different or maybe this location is different. I I'm not sure, but I don't see a problem with the pizza here at this Chuck E. Cheese. Let me know what you guys think. Let's try it. It looks actually really good. All the pepperonis are like cut. Yeah. Here's what it looks like. Oh, it's good pizza. Mm -hmm. It's very sweet. I decided to time Drew and Shay's time cards. Now they told me as soon as you tap the card on your first game, that is when your time limit starts. And they had 30 minutes each on each card. As soon as Shay tapped hers, I started a timer for 30 minutes. And as soon as my timer went off, the card had expired. And every time you would put the card up to a game, it would say seven minutes remaining or six minutes remaining. And I would look at my clock and it would be identical. So there's no discrepancy there. It was 100% legit. These things are on like a 30 minute timer and they take so long to scan. Yeah, this is good. It's like literally time. wasting your time. Just left Chuck E. Cheese. I got some cotton candy and it's freshly made. Try it. Ooh. Is it good? Yum. It's good. More dry. It tastes so like fresh. Yeah. Mmm. -hmm. Yum. I also love that candy. Okay, I'm gonna come back here <laughs> and then nobody's gonna be happy. We are going home now. So I'll give you guys all the tea when we get home. Look, Shaylin's using my backpack. Look at how cute. Oh, I love the charms <laughs> on it. <laughs> Link in the description for the bag. I Go get the bag. Booting you. Get out of the car. <laughs> Back home. Literally drove for five hours today. Love that for us. Mmm. Who drives two and a half hours away for Chuck E. Cheese? Like this video. Thumbs up this video. Thank you. <laughs> the tea. First tea time. I feel like my body's getting sick. And I don't know if that's like my body just getting sick because I have germies all in me. I don't know. How does a body get sick? Hey Siri, how does a body get sick? Oh, okay. Or if it was, I got exposed by something in Chuck E. Cheese. Probably not. <laughs> The whole way home, I was sneezing, and to the point where Shaylin was like, are you allergic to Chuck E. Cheese? Second of all, when we were talking about the robots, we were like, these are robot people, because they were like, every time like they anyone would leave the like, kitchen area, and we were sitting beside the kitchen area, they were like, but honestly, after being there for like an hour, over an hour, I realized that everyone was just nice. Like maybe they are robots and like trapping my mind, but honestly, they were just being nice. Everyone was nice. And then when I went up and bought the cotton candy, which it enticed me, to be honest. When we first walked in, I was like, oh, cotton candy, no big deal. But then after a while, I like, kept thinking of it. I was like, cotton candy. I like, kept thinking of this freaking cotton candy. So that's why I bought it. And honestly, it was so good. But when I went up there, the lady was like, Oh, are you enjoying your guys' experience so far? And I thought that was so nice. Like, not a lot of people do that. Not a lot of people, like, say, like, oh, how was your experience? Like, are you having a good time here? They usually are just like, how's your food, homie? She, like, introduced herself to me. I feel like a bitch now because I don't remember her name. But she's like, I'm the general manager and I appreciate your business here. I was like, I love Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> so they were all just so nice. So they weren't robot people. Well, maybe they were just nice robots. But <laughs> the games were well maintained in my opinion. I know there was a whole thing that people were talking about like gambling with kids and teaching kids how to gamble, but like Rutgers is like that. Like Dave and Buster's and like, there's a lot of different places that have like 
toys for kids and give them rewards, right? Even on a nap, you can get like coins and credit. Leave them down below. Do you think that teaches kids to gamble or they'll be more susceptible to gambling issues in the future? Let me know. I don't think so, but obviously everyone has their own opinion. The thing that I didn't like was I didn't like the pizza. Now that's just like an opinion of mine. I didn't like the crust. It was very um, bland and just like a blah crust, but the sauce, the cheese, the pepperoni was very good. And I feel like it was baked perfectly, but I just didn't like the crust on it. It was just kind of like cardboardy. That's just my opinion. Don't sue me, Chuck E. Cheese. Like go after Shane. Just kidding. Just kidding. I just didn't like it. Um, Drew liked it, Shay liked it, and Dalton liked it. I thought it was kind of lower quality. I don't know if it was fresh. I wasn't in the back tossing it. So we got, tell me if this is a good deal. We got combo number two, which was small wings, 10-ish wings, like smaller wings, boneless, with sweet chili sauce on it. A large pizza, which fed all of us, and it was pepperoni four drinks and the, you guys saw the size of the cups we also got two play cards for Drew and Shay and they were 30 minutes each of playing time and all of that all together was $78 Canadian and this is what it is American so let me know if you guys think that's a good deal it was just one pizza and like 10 wings but they did get to play and they had a lot of fun and it was like an experience it was also family day here in Canada so we got to like spend time together so I think that it was worth it it was worth it to go and like spend the time and the rat whatever Chucky <laughs> Chucky came out and he was very cute and respectful I just he, I just thought it was creepy so I was like like hide in my face from what I was seeing like all the kids were having a lot of fun the thing I did not like it was like a kid establishment before you even got in the doors it was like kid and like Chucky and like all these cute little things cartoons and it was like kid based and then they sold beer and wine beer and wine I mean that's the only thing that I was like mm. adults can drink for Drink all you want, but like drink when it's like an adult thing, you know? I don't know, when it's like kid themed, in my opinion, there shouldn't be like alcohol being served. Like obviously at a restaurant, there's alcohol being served, but it's not like, oh, Chucky and like cartoons and like singing and like, oh, play this game for kids. And then, you know, alcohol. Overall, my our first experience at Chuck E. Cheese was actually a positive one. It was good. The pepperonis were, you could tell they were placed and cut. You could tell that the sizes were the same. So I don't know if that's different in the United States than it is in Canada. I think it's legit. It just wasn't good in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have tried Chuck E. Cheese, comment down below if you like it, what your experience are, good or bad. Do you like the pizza? I wanna know, comment it down below and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. I love you so much, bye.